All right, so I'm going to kind of do a few little random things here. And I'm going to get ready to start doing the nose repair here. Um, I do need to fix the nose before the floor. Before you put your floor in, your, your front floor, if you've got the whole floor out, it's a lot easier to do all this little repair. Like, I've got to put a piece in here. So I'll cut that out. I'm going to throw some grip filler. I've got some of this Z grip that's kind of getting hard in the bucket because it's loose. So I, it's a little too hard. I didn't want to, it's hard to spread because it's a little bit too thick. So I figured it'd be a great place to use it as something where I can just rip it right off real easy, sand it off, just use the polisher maybe and just clean it up real quick and get rid of some of that filler I got laying around. And then, um, I just had that from a couple years ago. So I'm going to, uh, then I'm going to fix that area up in there. I'm just going to kind of move our way around. I didn't really want to weld much outside because it's high winds today and I don't want my sparks blowing somewhere, you know, and then having an issue. So, because I kind of have to weld the front outside because I mean, maybe I could move it back. I'll think about it. Maybe I could move it back far enough to have some room here um, so that's the issue is space right now might have to work with the door shut so I might start working on these doors a little bit later but I'm just going to start out with doing this I'll fix fill these in real quick and uh, get those out of the way I also do need to still fill this side you can see that side's got some I shot my guide code on some of the stuff um, then, you know, as I go, then what I'll do is after I'm all done with all the metal work and first coat of filling and all that, then I'll go through and I'll just uh, start one panel at a time. I'll just work them and make them like this to where they're pretty much finished. And then I'll reprime and then I'll do one more over that. That's usually what I do. Um, it depends on how nice. If you weren't going to go even nicer, I would do two times go over twice and then do a final prime and you know and do one more last hand block you know and then get it really nice and that's the way you usually I would usually do that um, sometimes I would do four times so two times blocking uh, two times finish blocking by hand and then paint if you're gonna make it really nice but I'm not gonna go there it's gonna be pearl white so it, nothing's going to show up at all. It's going to look really straight. So I'm going to do this one here. Fill in some of this little stuff here along the top edge. Kind of get that working. And uh, I just don't want to do anything down here where I'm going to be welding. Because I don't want to just catch fire yet. So any of those things there. And then I may do one of these panels here. Open them up and start fixing them. It's uh, The door repairs are going to be difficult to do. Uh, a lot more work than you might think and I do need some more metal I'm missing the actual bottom that I needed they sent me the wrong side Gerson did I've been going back and forth with them hey dude just send me another one I'll pay for it whatever blah 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 so I guess I just have to order the other side and hope I get the right one but uh, I was hoping to see catch them at a show yeah, but there's no shows that they're at l lately not until like June then they're usually at a show in California and they want to sell the metal that they bring so they usually give you a pretty good price towards the end of the day if they still have it. So, anyway, keep that in mind. Let's go on hyperlapse.
take a look at this here. It's pretty bad. But I sand it up underneath here as best I can. I'm gonna remove all the scaling rust. And I'm gonna treat everything up underneath here with the brush. <clears throat> Make a little piece for that. Not sure what I'm gonna do in the bottom yet. But I'm gonna clean all that out of there. And just uh, I'm gonna pour the treating stuff down in that crack right there. So at least I'll stop it <clears throat> or slow it down enough, you know. I mean, nothing lasts forever. Some people think you do a restoration, it's going to be forever. I don't know. Even the best guys, even if you replaced it, you know, a lot of times they don't even prime this area down in here. In fact, most of the time they don't. So if you're really diligent, you could actually get one of those 360 degree things and shoot, you know, rust carrying primer inside behind here. Probably still gonna have voids, even if you do that. But um, yeah, I'll just uh, pour some of that in here. Uh, take a brush, let this sit for a while. After it's done, it's gonna have to sit and dry for a few hours. So I won't be able to have all of this in the same video. The whole, you know, restoration of this. You're gonna have to watch a few videos to get it all. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> it's pretty bad. They can be fixed. Anything can be fixed. It's just a matter of time and money. All right, so I've got to clean all this stuff up. Unfortunately, again, I wish I could get all this in the same video, doing like a whole repair on this. But what's going to happen is once I get this all opened up, then I have to treat everything. I have to let it dry. It takes a while. Sometimes it takes all day for that treatment to dry. This stuff here. As you're new to the channel, make sure you watch the whole build on this thing. You're going to learn a lot about how to do some of your own repairs. Um, simple way, you know, not, not the more complicated way like some guys do, and which is fine, you know, it's up to you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this thing, so I'm going to go ahead and mark what I'm going to have here is kind of a, a reference. It's not going to be exactly where this thing's going to go. This is a paint marker. I have these on Amazon. I like using these. Let me give this thing a minute here. Get it going for you. I don't feel like messing with that paint marker. I'm just going to use a regular Sharpie. So, it's going to show a reference of where, roughly where this thing fits. Of course, when I, when I lap, when I have it on top of it, it's going to be showing a line that's going to be a little bit lapped. So, like if I... If I uh, so I'll have enough room. So if I cut it at this line right here, okay, it should have like a little bit, like about a quarter of an inch of lap left. If you can see my finger, maybe I should move you guys down. How about that? Is that better? So it'll still have 
some lap because see what until I remove that piece I'm still gonna have you can kind of see I'll still have um, some metal there now this is like a little support piece and doesn't really replicate that piece um, if you're looking for these they have these at Wolfsburg West um, and they they do have them at Wolfsburg West they have them some other places um, Wolfsburg does a supply these are made by I think um, Autocraft so and they're only like twenty dollars so this is like narrow and then it goes to wide and then it goes back to a different narrow so I've made this piece before and it's it takes a lot of time so for twenty twenty dollars it's one of those ones that's worth buying so one of the things I do when I cut off these uh, is as I try and leave the outer skin on while I'm doing it because then I have something to reference so whenever I'm cutting one side of something I leave the skin on the other side even if I'm gonna replace it because I want to be able to place it in the right place um, and it's gonna be tough because I'm gonna have to actually put this together and then put it on the bus check it make sure I got it right tack it you know that's the kind of the way you do it but um, if you if you use that reference you know like I'll have the there's not much left on this one sometimes there's nothing left and you know I've like I said I've made this I've made patch panels but when they're like completely gone like this one is it's it's just so much easier to use the the repair section so because it does it does these actually fit you know the the stuff from from England actually fits usually pretty good it, it sometimes is a little bit off but not much all right so I'm going to use my little saw to cut this out um, you can use a cutoff wheel whatever but uh, I'm going to use this and I'm going to go ahead and get you guys off volume because it's super loud um, and I got to shut the garage door so I'll bring you guys back in in a second. <laughs>
All right, so you kind of know when you got it right <clears throat> because remember this part here welds to right here. So if it's flush mounted against here, okay, flush mounted against there, then you got to grind this part down to where it fits flush there, and then it should line up with your cut over here pretty close. I mean, it's not going to be exact, but um, your door skin is going to wrap around that. So you may end up having to trim this down a little bit after you get it done. Just the very edge, just take a grinder and knock it down to make it match up to the door skin. And then it should be able to go right on the car. But again, again, you should always put it on, check it, and all that, you know. It's always going to be done. So now if you notice that this part is not made, so what I'm going to have to do is just make this little edge here. And you kind of got to just know how this looks. And it's just kind of like this shape here. It kind of goes up it a little bit and then around. And then you just kind of make a piece of metal for that and then use filler to finish it out. Um, that's how kind of that's done. Uh, you can do it however you want, but I'm, I'm going to actually make this piece here. I'll make a little piece that goes around here and then I'll make it kind of just go. Remember, it follows this line. That's why I wanted this piece because I knew this was so terrible that trying to make it without having some reference would be really difficult to do. So I got this. I'm just going to make that little hump right here and uh, make it go around, follow around that edge. But in the meantime, right now, I need to stop, get out the rust converter, start treating stuff. i got to clean out that little valley in there. We'll, bring, we'll be doing this uh, later on. I'm not sure when. All right, so the next door, start doing this one. Uh, you know, if you're going to buy one or the other, it'd be better buy this piece than buy the outer skin. You can actually use this piece to make the outer skin. So difference is is you notice this is square here this is round so it, you are going to need to do a little creative something on there a little piece of triangle metal I don't know or just uh, whatever but uh, anyway the outer skin I have on this one I and I also have this little piece here but see how this is all made I'll have to make all that again We'll take this out. I'll let you guys watch and hyperlapse. Let's put the center panel on. Try to get this all dry on here. I've got this all treated. Everything's dead. So I can go ahead and I painted the inside of this because there's no way some of that area I can't get paint on it. You know, usually you can kind of drizzle paint down in there, and I've done that before. So just kind of spray can it down there and just kind of run it into the corners. Get it kind of gets it somewhat coated, but not really. So, but I figured paint it real quick, and I'll set this in place. I got to clamp it, put it on. All right, so I got this clamped up here. Have to burn this real quick. I'm gonna have some ugly stuff going on right there. Let me just do this edge first.
I get a lot of smoke here from the stuff you use to kill the rust. It makes a nasty smoke, so let's see what happens here when I do these. It's going to fight me a little. That turned out pretty good, actually. Not bad. Had to get it hot first. I just did the edge first, and then I go to the metal where it's. Rolls it up really nice. A couple of pinholes in it, but that's all right. Let you guys take a look at it. Anyway, pretty much going to wrap it up. I got a mountain right there. I just did that trying to fill the pinhole. This is a little ugly here. What is wire? Right, I'll take a grinder and knock it down. But if you can see here that they don't have the same bends. I mean, this part here is pretty close. But this one, I'm going to have to tweak that into place. And then what I'm going to have to do is put the door on and uh, grind this thing to the right place it's supposed to be. Who knows how that's going to end up. I may have to beat that thing around it may this part might rub you know who knows may not be exactly the same so you, know, you got to play with stuff like that that's so normal sometimes i've actually pounded the bottom of the dog leg down a little bit because it was easier just take something wide and just pound the whole thing down just a little bit you know that's all stuff that i do to make stuff work anyway but you guys can see kind of where this is going here I'm gonna have to probably wrap this one up here I'm gonna have to take these videos off I've got too many videos on the phone and uh, puts in a video and then I'll be doing more of this with the other door and with this door um, man making this little hump and all that stuff to fit so that it has this edge all the way around you see that round piece there so that the door will seal and all that but uh, again I can't get everything I can't just do one whole door and have the whole thing of all the repairs on it on one video it wouldn't be it would be very very hard for me to do with time because it would take me uh, 10 times as long as it needs to to do one door and then I'm going to be into this project from for years instead of just a few months and I can't really do that so um, it's much better, you know, you're going to have to watch a lot of videos. If you want to learn this stuff, got to watch a few more videos. I'm not trying to do that on purpose. It's just the only way I can do it. All right, I'll talk to you in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe.